Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases of worm infestation in the gut loops. Both are the Ascaris lumbricides seen in the gut loops. This is the first case. Ascariasis is an infection with Ascaris lumbricides, adult worm, and is typically causes with gastrointestinal or pulmonary symptoms and depending on the state of the disease development. You can see the worm infestation Ascaris lumbricides seen inside the gut loops. Large intestine. Ascaris lumbricides is widely distributed in tropical and subtropical regions and in other humid areas. Approximately one quarter of the world's population is infected with this disease at any time of their life. It is much less common in developed countries and relatively rare in United States and other developed countries. The focusing and localization of the worm infestation by the ultrasound is not easy job, requires a bit of practice and luck of the sonologist. Now you can see the worm, almost two worms seen inside the gut loops. and there is slight feeble movements of the intestine with the movement with the intestinal movements now the clinical manifestations may vary according to the stage of the life cycle of the infection the gastrointestinal manifestations as the worm is most commonly seen in the gut loop. These manifestations are due to adult worms. You can see now this worm as indicated by the arrows has a small worm beneath this adult worm. The most common complication of ascariasis is mechanical small bowel obstruction caused by a large number of worms. A large worm bolus may also cause valvulus or interception. Now the infestation with this worm may also cause other complications including acute appendicitis, pancreatitis, acute cholecystitis and liver abscess. Now again you can see it is not easy to localize and focus the ascaris. Now you can see the other case and in this case you can see the ascaris focusing of the ascaris lumbricides. Now the pulmonary manifestations and rare complications include cardiac tamponade and airway obstruction Adult worm may also be passed through the anus and through the mouth while vomiting. Now the pulmonary manifestations occur 5 to 26 days following ingestion of the viable eggs. Ascaris pneumonia may develop and consist of migratory, transitory, transient, localized intra-alveolar inflammatory reactions. 
now you can see a large worm seen in the large intestine Ascaris pneumonia may develop and consist of migratory transit localized intraalveolar inflammatory reaction. Pulmonary ascariasis is most common cause of Leffler syndrome, which is characteristic characterized by fever, cough, sputum, asthma, eosinophilia, and infiltrate seen at the chest radiography. Again, you can see the long tubular structure of the worm. Healthcare providers can diagnose Ascaris by taking a stool sample and using a microscope to look for the presence of X. Some people notice infection when a worm is passed in the stool or is cuffed up. If this happens, bring the worm specimen to your health care provider for diagnosis. You can see the tubular structures. seen inside the gut loop. Now the most important sign and symptoms used in clinical diagnosis of Ascaris include epigastric and right hypochondrium pain, vague abdominal pain localized around the navel in children and mimics peptic ulcer or colicky pain around the epigastria in adults, fever, spontaneous expulsion of adult worm from the anus, Now, common symptoms of intestinal worms are abdominal pain, but signs that indicate that you have a parasite, the signs are unexplained constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating, nausea, or other symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, and you traveled internationally and got diarrhea on your trip, you have had food poisoning and your digestion has not been the same since that travel. The common symptoms of intestinal worms are abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting, gas, bloating, fatigue, unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain, or tenderness. Now the, the other worms, for example, in stool, the pain worm look like small pieces of white cotton thread. Because of their size and white color, pain worms are difficult to see. The male worm is rarely seen because it remains inside the intestine. It is best to search for pain worm at night when the female comes out to lay her eggs. An adult pinworm generally is 1 by 4, 1 quarter to 1 half inch, about 6 to 13 millimeter in length. The most common symptoms of infection is anal itching, particularly at night as worm migrate to the host anal area to lay their eggs. If you eat or undercooked, if you eat raw or undercooked meat from an infected animal you might you ingest the larva which then develop into adult tapeworm in the intestine adult tapeworm can measure more than 80 feet 
you will astonish you will be astonished to note 80 feet that is 25 meters long and can survive as long as 30 years in the host tape one doesn't cause symptoms the only sign of tape one in, in infection may be segments of worms possibly moving in a bowel movement in rare cases tape worm can lead to serious complications including blockage of intestine or small duct in the smaller ducts in the intestine like the bile duct or pancreatic duct dogs and eat can become infected if they eat another infected animal even 100% indoor pets are at risk as some insects, pets, for example cockroach can carry infective larva and may be eaten by the pet inside the home. Hook form, hookworms are zoonotic disease meaning people can also be infected. Thanks for watching. Please you can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.